Hello everyone, I'm Zhenya, I'm also known as the Lady Moth and in this video I will be showing you how to create little acorns and berries for your leaves. I will also show you how to attach them to your makes without using glue. So let's start with the acorns. I am working on a 100% wool felting mat and I will be using star needles today. I've got um, 38 gauge and 40 gauge star needles and I will be working with carded uh, New Zealand wool and I will pick one single color to start with. So the acorn cups uh, come in different sizes, so obviously you will need different amounts of wool for different sizes. So I will start with, with this amount and see um, how it fits the acorn. And I will first, it's a longish piece, I will just roll, roll it loosely so then when I wrap it on my skewer it will create nice oval shape so you do want to work quite tight you want nice and tight piece and that will that will speed up the process a bit and you can see I'll try to hold it tight and you can then see which acorn cup it would match keeping in mind that this will also shrink but what I'm going to do I will work on this while it's on the skewer and you can do that but you need to be really careful not to break your needle so just avoid the skewer And keep moving turning your piece so you stop from different angles so now I if I take it off it should already hold together it is quite soft and uneven so I'll keep working and you can hold it with your hand or you can um, put a sewing needle on one end and that will help help you hold it in one place and just keep turning it and working from different angles making making it firmer and i'm working with 38 gauge at this stage and once it is a bit firmer you can then start working on the ends very careful so I would need more wool around for this cup but once I stab more it should fit this one so you need to keep going until this is much firmer so I have one sample here which I've been working on for longer and it's much firmer and smoother so that's the way I I like them to be before I attach them to the to the cups so you can you should keep working and you can also um, add a layer of blend, blended wool, uh, 
on the top of it so that's just a plain color but I do like my acorns to have a little bit of blended wool I'll show you a couple of examples so these have blended wool on the on the top layer and I will I demonstrate the technique in my other tutorials so I will uh, send I will uh, link put links in description somewhere to my other tutorials so please make it nice and firm and um, once it, you're happy with it you can attach it to your acorn cup and I will show you how to do it without the glue so I would either use a piece of thread and I would use thread when I'm uh, attaching I'm attaching it to a brooch or something similar so this one is a brooch and I've used thread to attach it or you can use a piece of wire um, I use like thin florist wire and this is uh, more stiff and is great um, for um, attaching this to your wreaths or other decorations so I have an example here that's a leaf and acorn together and the way I, I do that I would show you on a thread example so I have piece of thread and a needle I will hold it tight and thread it from one side to another like so and then you have to tie quite a tight knot on the other end so you can do one or probably it's better to do a couple or three knots so it's nice and secure can be a bit tricky because these are quite small I'll try to make a couple of knots okay so this is a little bit loose I should have done it tighter and you can also put couple of them so one this direction and one on the other direction so try try to do that as well this is the right example is much tighter and it holds better and you use the exactly the same technique with the wire so you have to put the wire through and then attach it just attach it tightly to the other end like so okay so now I can show you how to make a um, tiny berry for your holly so I will try to work with the um, skewer again although you might prefer to work with a toothpick because this is much smaller mm, I've got a few examples here they are little tiny balls so for that you will need only a little bit of your carded wool and I will wrap it round and hopefully once I take it off I will be able to create a round more round shape just controlling the stabbing the direction of stabbing so I would smooth it a little bit don't make it too tight push it off the skewer and I will use 40 gauge needle for that might be easier to uh, go in and then work on the ends I'm, I'm doing it with 38 gauge 
Let's try and secure it with the needle and see if it helps a bit. And the other end. So now it became a little bit more round, but it still needs more stabbing and more work. And you can roll it on the palm of your hand just to help with the felting process up a bit more and I think with this small piece like this 40 gauge star is better easier to work with it's just tricky because it's tiny so there is no way way of holding it properly so just keep working until they are nice and firm so that's the, the new one I've started is quite spongy and this one I've been working on for a while so it's firmer and it's a bit more smooth and the way I attach them is again either with the thread or wire so I hope this is quite helpful for you and you will be able to make um, a few few pieces and use use my um, instructions and they are great with your seasonal decorations or um, brooches so please let me know what you think about this tutorial and I would love to see your makes you can always message me I will put um, links into um, description and thank you for watching. Bye.